welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I would like to do a quick overview of using our interactive whiteboards which are located in most of our technology enhanced classrooms in the College of Education and Professional Studies. So to begin with, there is a physical connection, a USB cable that runs from the computer that's located inside of this podium to the smart board. It's a physical USB cable, so you must use the computer inside of this podium when interacting with the interactive whiteboard. Uh, we use a particular brand, smart board. Uh, it's from Smart Technologies and in our technology enhanced classroom we have a shortcut located on the desktop so you just simply double click that icon that will open up the smart notebook software and you're ready to go using the smart board the easiest way to use it is just to simply walk up to the smart board pick up a pen and literally just begin writing we also have a digital eraser so we can erase this one quick tip we actually have a calibration. If you notice, whenever you touch the smart board, and you can use your finger instead of these pens, uh, but if you notice, whenever you write something, if the pen's not following your finger correctly, you can calibrate it by holding down these two buttons on the keyboard of the smart board and very quickly calibrating it. and this will calibrate it so that whenever you place your finger on a particular icon uh, it's, it matches up exactly. So that's a quick way to calibrate the smart board. Uh, smart boards will do many things. You can select objects, come over here, let's do some handwriting recognition. You can make things larger, you can make things smaller, you can spin items around, all kinds of different things that you can do. We have a gallery off to the side, go into gallery essentials, let's go to geography, let me make a new blank page here and let's go to maps and let's go to pictures and we, we have a variety of different things that we can do here and let's just say that we're doing a unit on Africa so we can very quickly bring some clip art in and again we can resize that make it smaller larger whatever you'd like to do let's go back to our page sorter view and go back to the first one uh, anytime you see a little triangle there's additional choices here so I'm just going to come up here and just say delete this item so very quick very easy to use I will also mention, uh, let me close this out, Make sure, actually let me minimize this, let me open up a browser here. If you go to our ITC website, eiu.edu slash ITC, and go down to our YouTube channel, we actually have several videos out there if you'd like to learn more about using the smart board. If you go to our videos list, and let me just scroll down to make sure I'm telling you the correct uh, episodes here, but if you scroll down and it starts with episode 24. 25, 26, 27, and 28. Those episodes, if you watch all of those episodes, you'll become a very uh, effective smart board user and be an intermediate user very, very quickly. So I'll just leave you with that. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. And let me just go ahead and close this out. Open the smart board up again. And you're ready to go ahead and continue writing with your notes. So that's just a quick overview of the smart board. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.